In this module, we'll talk about non-native English language teachers and the use of the mother tongue in an English language classroom. When it comes to learning English in the outer and expanding circle countries, we see that a bilingual approach is more useful. A bilingual approach is more useful because the goal of learning English in these countries is um, not being completely proficient in, a, in English only. Um, the goal is bilingualism. The idea is to learn English along with their own mother tongue or their own first language. Since the goal is bilingualism and not monolingualism, not learning of English only, therefore a bilingual approach is considered more useful an approach where the mother tongue is used along with English in an English language classroom. In fact, there are lots of calls and appeals from English language teaching circles uh, from native English speaking countries for more use of the mother tongue in the language classroom. There are many well-known ELT experts who suggest to um, English language teachers and practitioners um, in the expanding and outer circle countries to use more and more mother tongue in their English language classrooms. Um, in fact, the use of the mother tongue is considered as one dimension of linguistic human rights. So, it is a um, right of an individual to use um, their own mother tongue, to promote their own mother tongue, even in an English language classroom or in, in any other L2 classroom. So, it is inhuman. It is not legal. It is not right to stop people from using their own mother tongue. Therefore, there's a lot of insistence by ELT experts and researchers uh, on the use of the mother tongue in English language classrooms. Another issue which is closely linked with the issue of the use of uh, English only in English language classrooms is the issue of native English speaking teachers. Um, just as we have monolingual fallacy, we also have a native speaker fallacy in the ELT world. The misconception that only native English speakers can be um, the best teachers of English or only native English speaking teachers should be allowed to teach English. Um, these uh, native English speaking teachers are considered the best teachers as I have already said. And compared to them, non-native teachers are considered only second best. Uh, if uh, it was possible, people would completely do away with non-native English speaking teachers. But because we do not have that many native English speaking teachers, people have to uh, accept non-native English speaking teachers as well. But they are only considered second to the native English speaking teachers. And many ELT experts consider consider this as a fallacy, a fallacy that they call native speaker fallacy. In fact, um, having a non-native English, non-native English speaking uh, person as a teacher has lots of advantages. One advantage is that um, they already know the mother tongue of the learners so, this knowledge of the mother tongue of the learners um, makes it easier for the teachers to uh, teach the learners, the learners with whom they share the mother tongue. Um, then these teachers have already been through the experience of learning a second language. They have had the experience of learning the same uh, language that is English as a second language. So, they know the strategies which are useful for learning English. They are also fully aware of the difficulties that a learner may encounter when learning English. Uh, they also know the social and personal needs that people have in expanding in outer circles for learning English. So, they share this experience of learning English with the learners. So, they can fully understand the plight of the learners. 
um so um it is now believed that non native english speaking teachers in fact are uh, more effective english language teachers rather than native english teachers um so what is needed is the need to realize that the goal of learning english in the outer and expanding circle countries is not the acquisition or the attainment of native like proficiency um if the learners can they can attain, attain native like proficiency but their goal should be um to attain the proficiency of a good um english language speaker in their own region um to to attain the proficiency in the variety of english which is used in their own immediate context with this realization that their goal should not be the competence of native english speaker but the competence of an english speaker in their own context the need to um there will be a need to redefine the concept of native speaker um if we look at a native speaker as a concept which should be respected and venerated we have many native speakers now we do not only have native speakers of um british english or american english we also have native speakers of let's say pakistani english indian english singaporean english so what native speaker which native speaker is uh, the target of english language learning in a particular context so because of all these um changes which are taking place in the world vis-a-vis -vis english language teaching and english language learning we need to redefine all these concepts the concepts of um native speaker the the misconception of we need to overcome the misconception of monolingualism in an english language classroom and the concept the misconception of a native speaker um in the english language classroom so we need to redefine our um uh, understanding of all these concepts to be successful english language learners and teachers